Hello everyone, we are a deployment team from NCTU Taiwan. The project is supported by Ministry of Science and Technology of Taiwan, with OnLab giving us technical support. The keynote session will cover the details of the NCTU team deploying SDN IP project. From the SDN IP global deployment graph provided by OnLab, we can know that NCTU Taiwan finished the deployment in 2016 Q1, along with the previous deployments from international SDN research teams, Internet2, AMLite, Rnet, and Jint. And now, we are the newest site in the project. At first, we are introducing some main concepts of SDN IP. SDN IP is a project to allow SDN to connect to the external network regardless of SDN network or traditional network. From BGP perspective, we can view SDN as an AS. Within AS, SDN IP application provides an integration mechanism between BGP and ONOS. Overall, SDN IP can be seen as a BGP speaker. From ONOS perspective, SDN IP is only an application on top of ONOS. SDN IP will install or update flow entries on open flow switch according to the result of BGP exchange. This is our agenda. First, we will go through the goal of the NC2 SDN IP project quickly, and then our NC2 SDN IP planning based on SDN IP design, including network topology of NC2 SDN IP and flexible software stack and verification method following up with the rack design, the hardware equipment, and open source projects being used in the deployment. At last, we will demonstrate our result and talk about some future plans. SDN IP is built to achieve four goals, compatibility, operational flexibility, high availability, and vendor agnostic. Firstly, we have to ensure the deployment can communicate with a normal BGP router. We've therefore chosen software router Quagga project as BGP speaker. Secondly, for the flexibility, we've deployed multiple ONOS instances and BGP speaker. In order to further improve reliability of the whole peering site, not only the SDN IP application has its own J capability, but also our ONOS or Quagga instances, or even further more to open flow switches, have redundancy mechanism. At last, we also follow the philosophy of SDN to use open source and bare metal devices as From the graph showing the network topology of NC2 SDN IP deployment, you can see that the BGP speaker function is achieved by controlling four open flow switches through SDN IP function provided by ONOS cluster and using Quagga to exchange BGP information. Our SDN IP peering site exchanged a BGP routing table with Creonet in Korea and AMLite in the USA through National Center of High Performance Computing of Taiwan. We created two different testing networks to verify NCTU SDN IP deployment through media streaming. SDN IP can be seen as a BGP speaker with no difference from traditional BGP router. BGP information can be classified into IDGP and EBGP. From the graph shown, communications inside SDN IP are IBGP, and external communications are EBGP, including connections to Creonet in Korea, AMLite in the USA, and NCTU testnet in two different ASN. There are also two BGP speakers functioning and the multiple paths between open flow switches for redundancy. SDN can classify flows into control flow and data flow. Flows in control plane communicate with ONOS cluster and Quagga through connecting each management port to the L2 type of RAC switch, which includes open flow message and SSH connection, while data packet is forwarded by open flow switch in the data plane. Regarding our deployment method, we have three parts to share with everyone. First of all, it's our software stack. 
in order to achieve deployment with higher flexibility and maximize the efficiency of computing resources. Besides using multiple white box servers and switches, we also use VMware Hypervision in all of our servers. On top of hypervisors, we created multiple virtual machines running Ubuntu 14.04 LTAs so as to install open source projects as the IP required such as Onos and The second part is our automatic configuring, verification, and management. In this part, we adopt Anisable using a concept of infrastructure as code. Anisable allows us to use source code to manage each equipment so that we can check network and machine status of a large number of servers with simple commands. At last, We'll talk about our method to verify the availability of NC2 SDN IP. We created two different AS domains. These two AS domains form its own subnet in the two sides of the graph. After two AS domains exchange BGP information through SDN IP, stream client can receive stream service video from another subnet. We're going to demonstrate the result in the demo session. Also, we've installed Perf Sonar server to measure the quality of the whole network. After talking about deploying methods, let's look at the photo. This photo is the design of NC2 SDN IP rack. It's a 42U rack. From top to the bottom, there are two L2 type of rack switches, four open floor switches, one ONOS cluster server, two SDN IP Quagga servers, and two NC2 net test servers. The rack is built with support from Unlab. National Center of High Performance Computing of Taiwan and H Core Network. Now, please allow us to introduce the hardware components we use. We use Acton Server as our ONOS controller, One U White Box Server as Quagga Server. For Open Flow Switch, we have H Core AS. 5712-54X with commercial network OS, PIC OS provided by PICA8 in OVS mode. We also choose H-Core AS4610-54T with PIC OS L2 and L3 mode for L2 type of rec. In the deployment, we use several different open source projects including ONOS, Quagga, Ubuntu 14.04 LTAs, OpenV Switch, and Anisable. In the global SDN IP live demo website, we can see that the left bottom side shows the icon of Taiwan in the NCTU Taiwan section, representing that NCTU SDN IP is working. In the future, we'll make NCTU SDN IP as a center of development, increase scale by implementing code fabric where Unlab is working on, and target code monitoring service and ONOS V router deployment and improvement. Besides, we will also deploy other open source software router projects such as NTT GoBGP and BIRD to test and use services from different projects. At the same time, we are going to emphasize on the concept of DevOps, fully applying IT automation tools such as Anisable and Puppet, and monitoring services such as Zabbix to conduct automated management and deploy monitoring methods as much as possible. Lastly, the NCTU Taiwan team would like to give thanks to Ono Software support from Unlab. Support from Ministry of Science and Technology of Taiwan, National Center of High Performance Computing of Taiwan for International Private Lease Circuit, Edge Core Networks for hardware support. Thank you.